Hi, my name is Kevin Harper. Welcome to another video tutorial. This one is going to be really short. Um, one of my students modeled this chair and he wanted a different way of displaying his models, so he wanted a different background. Um, right now he has a gray to black gradient, so let's take a look what that looks like. Okay, so I guess he was wondering how he can make a, a, a normal gray to gray uh, gradient or what kind of uh, setup do people usually use for various types of objects to display them. So one thing I've noticed a lot of people do and I do myself is um, I just delete the plane. We'll go in here and we'll grab a, do, 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 we'll grab a cylinder and we're just going to make sure that it is at the base of the chair. Go in there, fix this up, and then we're going to change the radius, something like be something like this depending on what your lighting setup is as well as your camera what your camera is doing you know you don't want to see the top and yada yada yeah so we'll convert this to eligible poly and we'll grab the top polygon and delete it and you notice right now the chair is uh, inverted I mean that the, the wall is inverted right because this are uh, this is the outside of the polygon, this is the inside. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a normal modifier, which flips all the normals. And then we're going to grab, um, we'll just convert this again to eligible poly, or we could have you know, uh, just added one on top. And then we're going to grab this middle polygon and convert to edge grab all the edges and chamfer them in oops uh, something like this now you want to take your time with this sort of thing and make sure that it looks nice in your camera but once that is done we can just add a topo smooth on top of that now notice that this is not these are not good polygons, right? They're meeting, there are a lot of points meeting at the same place, but for tutorial's sake, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, if I had, if I were getting artifacts or anything like that, I would manually go in here and fix the middle. But um, for the sake of the tutorial, so we have this going on, and then in his material editor, he has this already gray texture, which I think is just a, a standard or something so I'll drag that on here and then we can go in here and we can render that and there we are we get a nice little uh, we get the shadows but we get a nice little professional looking gradient um, in the background now we can change this of course by uh, increasing the chamfer to make this gradient bigger and uh, a variety of other ways but that's pretty much how you'd set it up and uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, you know send me any questions you might have and I'll be happy to answer them thanks bye